Hello. Hello. Anyone here? Can anyone hear me? <laughs> Welcome guys in the Valentine's Day special episode of Trash Talks. I am your podcaster, Random Girl, and this is episode 3 of Trash Talks. To all the singles out there, don't worry, I am single too. The proof is that I am literally doing this episode while I was supposed to look for some hot guy on Tinder. Now, uh let me tell you this episode might be a little bold for the show. because we have a special story today in the end now coming back to the valentine's day thing being single i have a lot of complaints actually about couples and also i have a lot of opinions about crushes now let me be clear first of all that i am not a professional I don't have a good mic, good computer or any knowledge about background music and all. I'm just trying to make the show as much professional as possible. And by professional, I meant really professional in terms of the present time. But I don't have enough accessories for that and I really hope if God help me, I will be having the best equipment one day. Now um let's talk about couples first. I am telling about very limited and specific kind of couples which I hope most of us have already seen in our daily life or we already know about them. Um like there are couples who don't have much understanding but still together. And they are always quarreling with each other about every small things and in the bright side also there are couples who are very straight forward and practical and understanding now let's talk about the couple which i love the most is honest one now there are some couples out there who are too much honest with their partners even if they go out and kill somebody they will literally come to their partner and will confess every single thing and surprisingly their partner will understand and forgive them so now you can call them partners in crime i mean literally partners in crime <laughs> now these kind of couples usually don't cheat they believe in a threesome and even if they cheat they can't lie to their partners like that is so much of honesty oh my god anyway let's talk about horny ones i mean horny couples obviously in today's generation there will be a lot of couples who are like always horny and want to do a lot of sex now the most interesting part of these kind of particular couples are even if they both are always hungry for each other one of them will always be hornier than the other one For example, either the girl will be the pervert one who will always be like the one looking for private places or even sometimes starts in public. And vice versa. The guy can also be a pervert. <laughs> that, that doesn't really matter actually. Now, let's talk about crushes, starting with celebrity crushes. Now, more or less you can understand what I'm trying to say. no matter what is your age what gender you are what is your sexuality you will always fall for that one particular celebrity and you will think about them like for day and night and you will want them as your partner which in 98% cases is not possible but still maybe more than that more than 98% but still yeah it's it's not possible because they're celebrity and you just keep thinking about them like day and night let's talk about the crush type hot stranger have you ever saw someone in some public place and you stop there and keep staring at him or her now these kind of crushes are the ones about whom you don't know a single thing but they are still your crush 
just because of their good looks you might even don't know their name but you are like oh my god i'm going to eat him talking to that let's come to short term crushes now there are crushes with whom you are dying to get laid but when you go and talk to them for even a simple thing you realize oh my god this person have the greatest attitude in the whole world man who are you justin bieber sometimes you get to feel that they don't have attitude but the guy on whom you were crushing is gay now that is so bad not bad for guys obviously but for me anyway or sometimes they aren't hygienic i mean i'm crushing on a guy and when i'm going to talk with him i smell so horrible fragrance that i am speechless sometimes bad breath sometimes they stink or use so much strong perfume and instantly your crush goes away now it's time to tell you the today's special story which is sent by what do you thought i will tell you the name who sent it no of course i won't anyway but uh, this story is sent to me by twitter so yeah let's begin we had been having some conflict with our sex life in our marriage i was less than willing to have sex all the time but i knew my husband needed that desire from me so for valentine's day i decided to resolve our conflict by making my husband feel like he was the king of his castle at the door was a love note asking him inside as he opened the door he heard our favorite song playing quietly in the distance the lights were off and the house smelled of lavender from there was a rose of rose petals leading him to the dinner table where i prepared him a wonderful meal over candlelight from there another note led him to the bathroom in the bathroom i stood my milky white skin was staring him in the eyes my long black hair was draped down my back and my bright brown eyes and i smiled at him i was naked with only a black tie loose around my neck and a note attached to my breasts there it read this woman is just for you the note on my breasts led us to our bedroom on the bed there was one last note the note was my love letter to him the letter read to my dearest husband i love you more than life itself i want you to know god gave you to me at the time when i least expected it but the timing was perfect i knew you were the one that day you came back for me i loved you ever since love me and make love to me forever your wife he then laid me across our bed of roses he took off his clothes revealing his beautiful indian smooth hairless skin he began to passionately kiss me as our two bodies touched he softly spoke in my ear just as we began our love making session forever your husband the story isn't finished yet just a little notice interrupting the mood that as this is a valentine's day special episode i have created a special playlist on spotify for you guys no i'm not promoting spotify premium nor i am getting paid for this it's a special gift to all my friends who listen to my podcast you can follow the playlist so that you can find it anytime you want 
The playlist contains Bollywood handpicked songs which are romantic and perfect for playing when you are with your the special loved one. Still, it's under some improvements all the time and also remember I have kept this thing in my mind to not to mix sad songs with romantic ones. If I am saying romantic, it's truly a romantic song playlist. Enjoy. Now, back to the story. Those of you wives who are having trouble having the desire to make love, first and foremost, ask God for him to change you and make your desire sex with your husband. But in the meantime, make him feel special. Make him feel he is at home when he is with you. Make him feel like there is nowhere better in the world to be than with you every day of his life. So the story ends here and um, this story as I mentioned was sent by an anonymous friend on Twitter. If you are still listening, thank you so much for that. Hold on, I haven't finished yet. As there is no comment option, you can send me your feedback by Twitter. Tweet your suggestions, love, thoughts with the hashtag random p underscore podcast underscore anchor. If you want to share your story, you can message me directly in Twitter. Just say, hello, I have a story I want to share in your channel. Your identity will be kept private. If you like this episode, please follow my page on Twitter to get the latest updates at the rate random P2021. Hashtag and link both will be in the description for your ease to find me. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Peace out.